This lesson is named, Your Serve is a Snapshot of Your Game. Your serve should be a snapshot of the different shots you have in your game. You certainly want to have more than a forehand drive. So if you don't have a reliable backhand, a lob, short angle shots, or shots with different spins, it is because you have not been told or you have not realized the importance of developing additional shots with your serve. Bottom line is your serve is an opportunity to develop many different shots that you ideally would have in your arsenal. Rarely is your serve not returned. Pickleball is not like tennis where you, a power serve can literally blow you off the court. In pickleball, you only get one chance to get the ball in the service area and it must be hit underhand. So generally, your serve will be returned. But if you hit all your serves the same way, you are missing an opportunity to develop the other shots. Many times I've had a student take a lesson and say I want to learn how to hit a backhand. I ask them if they ever hit a backhand serve or start a rally off with their backhand. When they look completely surprised, I know that they never hit a backhand serve and don't ever start off a rally with a backhand. These are two opportunities to develop your backhand. I would say that most player, pickleball players start off every rally with their forehand and only have one serve, which is a forehand aimed to the middle of the court. So if you want a better backhand, then start off rallies with your backhand. Learn to hit a serve with your backhand, and, and with the rule that allows you to hit a drop serve, then drop the ball and hit a backhand. The same principle applies to a lob. If you never or rarely hit a lob, then you most likely never hit a lob serve. So practicing hitting a lob serve, and that alone will develop your control for the height which will equate to more depth. Once you develop how hard and how high you hit the ball for a lob serve, then you will have developed the touch or the feel in order to hit a lob on your return serve. That will allow you more time to move to your non-volley zone line and will keep your opponents farther back when they are hitting the third shot of a point. My philosophy for pickleball is centered on the title Pickleball Shots and Strategies. For the development of an all-around game, your serve is a perfect example of incorporating shots and strategies. There is an analogy from the game of golf. There is more than just one club, the driver, in your bag. So just as, go as a golfer wants to learn to hit different clubs, the pickleball player should hit different shots with their serve. So here are some basic serves that you should have. Practice them and it will certainly improve your all-around game. Hit a hard topspin serve which will be similar to hitting a third shot drive. Hit a serve deep which will teach you to the control to hit a deep return of serve. Hit a lob serve which will teach you how to hit a lob return of serve. Hit a short serve which will teach you how to hit the ball softer and will be a beneficial when hitting the third shot. Many players do not get all the way up to their non-volley zone line after hitting a return of serve. I have coined a term dining room shot which is a short shot which, where the target area is about three feet past the no volley zone line. Hitting a short serve is just another opportunity to develop a shot that requires some additional touch. Hit a backhand serve because that will help you with developing your backhand. Hit serves with varying amounts of topspin. Hit some serves with a western grip that changes the amount of spin that you can put on the ball. Hit serves with varying amounts of slice spin. Do not have one serve. It is just too one-dimensional. Be versatile. Pickleball is a lifetime sport and a variety of shots is just going to give you more options 
better ball placement, and a variety is the spice of all.